Oh, another one of these things. Okay, apparently I'm going to stand there instead of cracking it. That one didn't take much effort, did it? Must be the sequencer power upgrade that made that easier. I don't know. Well, look who's discovered our secret lab. Since you've made it this far, let me show you what I've cooked up. Now we get to fight a couple of titans. They're the same as Bane, pretty much. You just hit him with batarangs, wait for him to run into walls like idiots. Although there's something else you can do with him, which you'll see soon enough. You can get a trophy here, too, if you can beat one without using any batarangs, but I really don't feel like taking that much damage, so we're not going to do it here. They're pretty hard to beat without using batarangs. Ow, that hurt. Let's not do that again. Titans are kind of like Bane, they've got three lines on their health gauges. When they get down to one, then they drop down on their knees like that, and you do this. Jump up on them and use them to beat up on each other, or clowns if there's any around. You can't actually punch them and get away with it until their life gauges are empty. Well, let's just smash these Titan tanks here. I mean, you can punch them before their life gauge is empty, but then they'll just smack you, and they'll smack you good. So, I'm going to try not to do that. And the, the fight's pretty easy, you just got to know when to throw batarangs and when to run. Dodge. And when to jump on top, when to jump on them, and use them to beat up the other one. La la la. You missed. Yeah, we'll just run around the guy swinging his fist blind like an idiot and jump on this one now. There you go. We need two feet to shit out of each other. After a couple of hits on the other one, the one you're riding on throwing them. Oh, big deal. You never want to be too close to these guys. Unless you're climbing on one. boring fight, isn't it? 
It's alright, we're almost done. Hey, thanks for knocking your buddy out for me. Now I can knock him out because his life gauge is gone. I think we're done here. Oracle, I've destroyed the Titan production facility. But Joker escaped with enough to cause us real problems. Just when you think it can't get any worse. They've been using a Venom-Plant hybrid to create the Titan strain. The plant's the key. And there's only one person on Arkham Island who can help us. And what makes you think Poison Ivy will help you? If her plants are at risk, she'll listen. I have a sample of her pheromone signature on record. She'll be somewhere in the gardens. I'll track her down. Good idea. Let's go track down Ivy. Well... Gotta do what we gotta do, I guess. There's no way out through this elevator shaft. I'll need to go back the way I came. Thank you, Batman. I'm going to need something to get over this ravine. Yeah, this is cool. I want a jet like that. Haha, <laughs> the mighty line launcher. Uh, people might remember this from the 87 Batman when it was used in the museum. Yeah, it's that thing. So pretty much goes in a straight line. It's very cool. Now I can go find Ivy. Okay, I'm still here. What am I getting here? Sonic Shock works. This does is, after throwing a Sonic Batarang, if I don't want to use it again in that area, I can detonate it, just like the explosive gel. It's pretty much an instant takedown. It's only usable once per stealth area, though. I usually don't use it unless I have no more use for the Sonic Batarang. Or I just need to get a guy knocked out. Now we're following Ivy's pheromone trail. Interesting. Kind of a cool purple background. Yes, I know I'm going the wrong way. I'm doing that on purpose, because this is kind of on the way. Now we get to play with our line launcher again. Cool. <laughs> 